Have you ever wondered how the third stage of foreign investments and international competition for colonies transformed the world and shaped modern international relations? This intriguing era began in the 1860s and was marked by significant shifts in global power dynamics. During the 1860s, a fascinating change occurred in India, signaling the dawn of the third stage. Britain's industrial supremacy was being challenged by several countries, including nations across Europe, the United States, and the emerging power, Japan. This period witnessed the application of scientific knowledge to industry, accelerating the pace of industrialization with innovations such as the use of petroleum as fuel for the internal combustion engine and electricity for industrial purposes. As the world market became more unified due to the revolution in international transport, Britain made strenuous efforts to consolidate its control over India. Liberal imperialist policies were replaced with reactionary ones, reflected in the viceroyalties of Lytton, Dufferin, Lansdowne, and Curzon. The strengthening of colonial rule over India served a dual purpose. It was designed to keep out rivals and attract British capital to India, providing it with security. Consequently, a significant amount of British capital was invested in railways, loans, trade, and to a lesser extent plantations, coal mining, jute mills, shipping, and banking in India. The notion of training the Indian people for self-government evaporated, only to be revived after 1918 due to the pressure exerted by the Indian national movement. The aim of British rule was declared as permanent trusteeship over the Indians, who were deemed permanently immature, a child people requiring British control and trusteeship. Geography, climate, race, history, religion, culture, and social organization were all cited as factors making the Indians unfit for self-government or democracy. The British thus attempted to justify their rule over Indians for centuries to come, all in the name of civilizing a barbaric people, the white man's burden. To recap, the third stage of foreign investments and international competition for colonies beginning in the 1860s, was marked by a shift in global power dynamics. Britain's industrial dominance was challenged, leading to a reactionary imperialist policy in India. This era saw significant British capital investment in India, while the notion of Indian self-governance was dismissed. All these factors contributed to the shaping of modern international relations.